What's up guys, my name's Diachronic Euros here on this Destiny 2 video and today I've got something very, very excited. Today, I've got a lot of tokens. I forgot exactly how many tokens I got. I got 524 Dead Orbit tokens. I ignore the new monarchy. I got 524 uh, Dead Orbit tokens that I'm gonna be opening on this video. Hopefully it's gonna be enough to get all of the engrams that are left from Halal over here, or should I say Peter? Anybody get that joke? Let me know because Peter's... That voice actor is my favorite. I ruined it, I'm sorry. Peter Stormare is the greatest. And uh, I'm gonna be stand spending all of these. And uh, also, while I'm here, uh, I would like to mention that I'm gonna be po I'm gonna be putting a little bit of a section here uh, where I'm gonna explain the new form because it has been updated. It's the same place and the same strategy. It's just that I have a different route to shoot all the things, and it's a lot, a lot faster. So check it out. It's gonna start right now. So in a sense, it's pretty much the same thing, except for you're not gonna be jumping around the room and walking all that way. You're gonna be shooting from three different locations, to all of the different spots, from relatively the same spot. It's gonna be really close to each other. All right when you enter, it's very simple. All you do is you do go in you shoot the front two in front of you the left and the back middle there you can actually see on screen and then off to your right there's going to be a spawn for one you can see on the right side jump on top in the, top in the container sometimes there's ones near those knights there there's the back side there's that front left side and then there's going to be two on the left side there's going to be one down there next to the echoid and then one in the back that you just saw there and that's pretty much all there is to it there's not really much more to it you can see another uh, kind of run through on it sometimes they spawn in different locations uh, different possibilities you just check all those different spots i have there's only uh, six possible uh, supply caches that are in the, the zone at the same time and it seems like there's nine or ten different possible locations they can spawn in so we pretty much have to go through all of them uh, again and again so you can see here i shoot the front middle two on these guys there's going to be two uh, one on the right side jump on the container there's going to be sometimes uh, on the back side there's going to be sometimes on this container here on the right sometimes the left and then there, there might even be one on the left side that you keep seeing me look over there at the acolyte there's one that spawns there and then on the back wall the hardest part about this is you actually die faster than you can actually do this so after you do this enough time you'll be able to get through without dying every single time and you'll be able to get through it most of the time without dying but it does take a few tries and a couple of practice runs to actually get through this and if you have not seen a full guide on this strategy it's basically you just go to the spot on titan you can find my other videos on the description or the uh, more in-depth strategy it's on titan on the rig it's just really close to it and you just keep running this over and over with an explosive scout rifle or an explosive weapon in general and you can destroy these things really fast and i have a minor mini tool to make it run faster and other than that it's pretty simple the hardest part is trying to get that one in the back far left that's the one that really kind of screws with you and uh, the ogre just destroys you. If you don't end up killing every single one of them, it's okay because this strategy is so fast, so efficient that it doesn't matter. But anyways, we're going to be opening uh, the fruits of my labor. I think I was uh, doing that farm that you just saw there for about... Um 40 minutes or so where I got about uh, about 500 of these. I had, I think, maybe 50 to start or something, but I got a lot of them, and it did not take that long, and I'm super excited. If I put this right here, you can't actually see its face. It's not moving. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it, because it's going to be a lot of it, and uh, my inventory right now looks like this, and also I want to point out something. <laughs> God! God! I, literally, I started the week with exactly this amount of light. I could not believe it. I did all of my, every single milestone. I'm holding left trigger right now. I have no milestones. I did every single one. I didn't get this. I got two 291 gauntlets, or 299 gauntlets that, that were exotic, and I just could not believe what that I, that I did, that that happened to me. But anyways, we're gonna be getting this thing here, and we're gonna be spamming this, trying to get some exotics uh, that will hopefully get me some stuff here. Uh, otherwise, I don't really care much about it. Maybe I'll keep one of each little armor piece. Uh, take in, of course, weapons from each one of these things, but other than that, I'm just trying to see what kind of random fancy stuff that we can get out of this, and you guys are probably also wondering uh, what kind of random stuff. A bunch of these are just going to be sent straight to my postmaster because I'm not going to be able to do all of these. Uh, but one thing I am looking forward to see uh, is actually the cap, because if you did not know, somebody else told, or I read an article online, I think it was from Forbes or something, you get a lot of had last hopes from here. If you guys want last hopes, it's a great sidearm. Oh, wait, straight there. Uh, you can get it from here. Uh, but I but I saw that you can only get 30 engrams from your faction per week, which is uh, you guys can hear me spamming the button right now, uh, which is kind of disconcerting, but uh, is you know somewhat all right. Let me just move the mic real quick so that it's close to my face. Ooh, you can get a fusion rifle from these guys. I don't know that. Uh, something that I'm looking for? Nah, just, I just wanted I, I, exotic engram. Oh, there's an exotic. What's the what's the light on that baby? What's the light on that baby? 301. So it is still a uh, 294, 294 exotic. Mm, 296. This is a 296 exotic because it went plus five from wherever it was. So uh, unfortunate. So we're not gonna be able to level up anything from this uh, faction orbit uh, crap 
but you know anyways let, let's just continue along and see if we can get anything else perhaps getting exotic that i have never gotten before the Huskow is probably my favorite rock to launch by the way if you've never tried it really good it doesn't have cluster bombs like uh the other one but yeah it's 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 totally fine all right but uh, we're getting down here to the edge of it uh i think i've gotten every armor piece for this time i'm not too sure but here we go last one in the tube and uh i have not spent all my tokens so there's that uh, i probably should have kept the tokens but uh you know what i'm gonna look up on dim right now and see what level i am because on dim it will tell you the faction uh totals and uh, levels for all of your characters so i'm looking at my titan right now and his does it doesn't even list that orbit all right, hold on. Let me just real quick go to Bungie and check and see if there's a list of all the things that you can look on your thing. To the, the, I will be right back. All right, well, I've looked around, and apparently there's, like, no way to actually see the, the different levels you have for the faction rallies. It shows you all the other rallies, or the other factions, like the Gunsmith and um, the, the Nessus things. You know, you guys give your tokens to the guys. They level up. They give you an engram. They actually track the level of that on uh, Destiny Tracker. If you've never seen it, it's, a, it's an amazing website. You can see all these stats and whatnot. I'm just going over to the Postmaster uh, so I can actually see how many items I actually have and how many I'm going to destroy after this uh, after I look at the items in my actual inventory. So, uh, quick cursory, uh, cursory glance. We've almost filled up every slot, which is fantastic. Uh, we have a lot of weapons. Three graves, dire promise, minimum distance, three graves again. I'm going to be deleting these like nuts. Uh, uh, the urchin looking thing, the 11th hour, never gonna use it, hate it, never wanted it. Uh, auto rifle from the Valkadin. I'm not sure if this is gonna be like the death adder from, it has 53 magazine, it, it seems like it's a very close product. Uh, you know the, um, uh, death stalker in uh, the beta, so this might be similar to that, and, uh, I'm curious to see if it's, uh, it's a really good weapon. I'll try it out, you know, I never know, I never know. Uh, I got a lot of shotguns. I got, uh, I got a, I got a lot of shotguns. And uh, that I'll never ever use. Dead Orbit! I only got one cape. I did get this cake. A cake. I got this cake. I only got one Dead Orbit shader. Or not shader. Uh, class item. Sash. I don't, I don't know what it's called. But, uh, I, 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 what I do know is that um, this game is currently making my stuff disappear. And I don't appreciate that. Looking over here on the uh, things. We got... Uh, a, you know what? Let's let's just equip one of every armor piece. I got a lot of these Karak Axe. Uh, we've got a couple of things here. Uh, this is the one I got from before, so let's just put this one on. And uh, this is going to be the anti-extinction gauntlet. It's got a few of these. And finally, the hoodie, the, the hoodie, the, the helmet in the final slot. And we have ourselves a full dead orbit titan. Obviously, you can look at the... Oh, that's actually a weapon with a dodo work weapon. And uh, another... <laughs> dead, is this a dead orbit weapon? What, what is... I've never seen the Valkadin, so I'll just assume that that's a dead orbit weapon. And then the dead orbit shotgun. Look at this dead orbit. Didn't get a dead orbit shade, uh, ghost. But look at me. I am totally decked out in armor that is totally reducing my everything. But, um, yeah. Anyways, prestige knife by the way. Little uh, hoodie thing on there. Let's look at our postmaster to see if, uh, how much other stuff we've... <laughs> there must... They, Bungie. We need an auto destroy button. This is this is not okay. Um, oh yeah, I got a I got this thing. But what do we? Is this a dead orbit? Is it dead? No, it, uh, it doesn't seem like it's specifically dead orbit. But um, what's this? Shock and awe. No, I've I've have seen this before. Oh, dude, look at the impact on the shock and awe. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. All right. Uh, yeah, no, I I, uh, I heard lots of things about shock and awe, and uh, it seems like a great fusion rifle for PvP and all the other things. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much. I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to save one of each one of these things. Look at this dead orbit stuff on my back. I am representing. By the way, is it? Don't see any dead orbit on this. Very disappointing. But uh, I think that's pretty much every dead orbit thing you can get. If not, then it's then there's some special weapon that I didn't get. Uh, but that's going to be in the video. I'm going to dismantle all of my, my things in my inventory. And uh, I'm going to see how many legendary shards I get. So I'm going to quickly go do that. And then you guys can see how many legendary shards I get from 789. And uh, we'll go from there. And all that. Who's a woman? What's it? Oh, yeah.
I think I've done it. I've uh, kept all the weapons that I think I want, and I'm up to 891 legendary shards. Uh, did I say 780 when we just when we started? No. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a lot of legendary shards just from I'm I'm going for those 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 four digits, Boaz. Going in for the four digits. Let's go. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I, I, I put most of the stuff in my, my bank by, in DIM, by the way. Oh, by the way, if you don't know DIM, DIM, uh, Destiny Item Manager, just literally type in Google, DIM, D-I-M. And you can manage your vault and your character from, from, your, from your phone in the, in the an app or in the browser on your computer. And it makes it so you can literally, it makes it so you can literally do this. Hold on, let me, uh, let, me uh, let me grab this. Like literally, I can do this. I can drop it in onto me and change immediately. Like, I put it into my slot, and then I can take my gear back over here, that's a 304 unfortunately, and just uh, change it back on, on my computer. And it's awesome, and I can do all this stuff, but you guys probably already knew that from the Destiny 1 item manager that's no longer on Bungie right now, but very much confused with me. But you can still use them, and it's awesome. Anyways, that's the end. That guy just got a Skyburner's Oath down there in the little uh, Zada things. And that's the video. Let me know if you want to see another one. I do. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint, uh, hint, hint. I, uh, I may have another opportunity here to, to see all the other good stuff. Oh, 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 oh I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Uh, the shaders, the shaders, the shaders. Uh, how many did I get? I got 34 and 26. And that's a lot of shaders. Uh, right now I've only got two of those. These are like, this is the most amazing shader ever. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's goddamn beautiful. Uh, new future wall call? Yeah. Not so much, but this it's it's goddamn beautiful. Just want to point out this is uh, this is a decent shader, but um, I'm uh, making ooh. All right, uh, I stand corrected. It's uh, it's a much better shader than I uh, originally thought. I think it's this one that looks kind of weird, although it still looks good. I'm honestly very surprised. Maybe the dead orbit armor is just kind of doofy. Anyways, that's the video. I don't want to waste any more time. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys over on the next one.